Hello, I'm Sarah, this is Hardcover Hearts, and I'm here today with a really exciting project announcement. Uh, I teased it out in yesterday's video that I put up, and that was my 2022 reflections and then some ideas for 2023. Uh, but here's the official announcement, and I'll put something on Instagram and let's see as well. Uh, I decided that I wanted to uh, do uh, what I've in essence been doing in with with individual buddy reads. Uh, I want to marry that with the group reads that I've been doing as of late uh, because I just there's such a rich community, uh, so many interesting readers out there that bring so much to the table that I thought marrying those two activities would be really fruitful. So I first started with a list of authors that I'm curious about, that I maybe have experienced a little bit of their work, but want to go a little bit deeper. Uh, and if you follow my channel, you know that I tend to focus on women writers and women writers of the last century. And uh, so that started, started a small list. From there, I really wanted to make sure that these authors had a depth of material that was worthy uh, and would offer uh, a spirited conversation and a rich conversation uh, amongst a, a group of people. So there are a ton of writers out there, but who are going to really offer those gems? Uh, so the material had to be fairly nuanced and rich and thoughtful. Uh, then, and it can't just be how they write, they also need to, in the span of the different books, they need to bring new things to the table. I have had other projects where the author ha seems to be stuck in a theme, uh, but the exploration of that theme isn't wide, hasn't been thoughtful and imaginative. Uh, so I don't mind uh, similar types of themes, but I, I did want the each book to offer something different, a new perspective, a new approach, uh, if they are a thematic type of writer. And they couldn't have a huge oeuvre, right? Because I, this, I think that no one right now is willing to, uh, to go through a group read project f over an entire year. Maybe we'll get there, but we're not there yet. So as an introduction, I needed to find someone who had a shorter, smaller oeuvre uh, that we could actually approach in a few months, but it, at the same time gave us enough to talk about and enough to look through, uh, to look back and see the evolution or the changes or the decisions that they made as they're building their, their craft. So all of that said, uh, I've chosen Shirley Hazard. Uh, so Shirley Hazard is having a little bit of a renaissance now. There's a new biography that just came out. I'm going to hold re off reading that until after I've read all of the material because I don't want that to shape my thinking of her work. But uh, with that comes uh, a bunch of new articles, new stories, new, new things about her that are kind of coming to the forefront. I'll put a link to a couple of them that I found below. Uh, so a little bit about her writing. I've actually read two of her four books. She wrote four novels, and then she wrote a series of different collected short stories. They have also written recently in 2020 been collected into a single volume called Collected Stories. So part of this project will be to take uh, the four novels in publication order, and then at the end to read the short story collection. We will take one month to read each book. Now, some of the books are really thin, so we may not need the full month for it. We can discuss that as, as a group as we get into to see what we'd like to do. Her writing is... She has the stylistic chops of writing really beautiful sentences, a la Anita Bruckner. Uh, she also is very, it can be a um, layered writer. So more, uh, I would say like uh, Elizabeth Bowen, if you've read, ever read any of hers. Uh, so I think there's a richness there for us to unpack and to discuss. Uh, but I, she does feel a little formal. So I would suggest if you're interested in joining in, 
uh, I would take a look, maybe go to Kindle or Amazon and read a passage or two, a, a paragraph or two of her writing to get a sense of her style, because uh, it's absolutely not contemporary. Uh, I'll say that straight out. Um, so I, as I've mentioned, I've read two of her books and really, really enjoyed them. So I'm looking forward to seeing what comes of the other two and, and how they work in chronological order, publication order, and then what she does as a short story writer. Um, so I hope that I've given you enough information that should you be interested, should you have heard of Shirley Hazard and wanted to jump in, uh, you are absolutely able to. Another bonus is that April is Aussie April, uh, where Australian literature is, is read in a lot of places in Booktube. And she was born in Australia, though she didn't spend her entire life there. She moved around a lot. So she does, that would give you credit uh, should you be uh, participating in that. What else do I want to say about um, her? I think that's it. Uh, so, oh, I did want to say I have a form below. So uh, if you just say in this video in the comments that you're going to join, that's great, but I'm not counting it unless you fill out the form. So the form is really important because it allows me to capture everything. We're going to be holding this on Voxer. Uh, so, and we have weekly check-ins. And so every Sunday, Whatever Sunday is in your time zone, we kick it off and we have the conversation up until that point. Uh, so anything up to that point is fair game, nothing further. And it really encourages us to think deeply about what we've just read and to analyze it, to have those rich conversations. And nobody is spoiling anything for anybody else. Uh, and, but we're also not taking a ton of time out of everyone's, com everyone's life because uh, people are, are commenting all the time. By having a fixed date to comment and to, and to check in, uh, we all seem to kind of be able to encapsulate our thoughts in that, in that small space and then enjoy the reading for the week. So uh, in order to participate, fill out the form and make sure that you get on Voxer and know how to work Voxer. Um, that's also an important aspect. And be ready to participate in a five month long project. We'll start it in February and we'll go through June. Uh, so that, that'll take us through all of the novels and the short story collection. So I hope you're as excited as I am to get started. And um, again, we'll be starting in February. So I'll be closing the form at the end of January. So please keep that in mind. And uh, all the information will be listed below. I really hope if you've been interested in checking out her work that you might consider joining us. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.